Hey everybody, Propboy1 here, and today we will be taking a look and reviewing the legendary Spirit Halloween 2014 Lunging Lily, made by Techie Design, back then known as Techie Toys. Now before we get started, we can take a look at her box. I received her as a Christmas gift, and uh, yeah, I've been wanting her for years, and I'm so happy I finally got one, especially with the sick attic box. Really wish Spirit would have done more of the boxes, like separate boxes for each theme. The attic boxes are the only ones we've gotten so far, but uh, they are absolutely sick looking. So here's the front of the box. Got the side of the box. It's a little, the box is a little beat on, but that is okay. I'm just grateful I have it. Here's the back. And here is the other side, which is the exact same as the one side. So without further ado, let's get started by first taking a look at Lily's detail. Lily wears a basic white dress. It is very dirty and looks worn out. Techie did a really good job making it look worn out. However, there's really nothing else special about her white dress. Her hands are nicely shaded and feature a few scratches on them. The scratches are like the exact same that props like Rosemary have. So the scratches are nothing special, but I still think they look cool. And of course she clings her iconic teddy bear, which I really like because it makes her look scared and you just really wouldn't expect her to actually hop up at you. Then moving up to her face, she has blood dripping out of her mouth. I'm not exactly sure what they were trying to do with her chin. I don't know if they were trying to make her look cold because it sounds like after she lunges up, she's like, you know, shivering. So I'm not sure what they were doing there, or if it's smeared blood. She has some cuts around her face, her lifeless eyes are really freaky, and sometimes when she jumps up, her uh, all of her black hair covers her face, which makes her look even more creepy. While lunging Lily's details, really nothing special, I still think it gets the job done very, very well. Now Lily is made of essentially all plastic. Mine is the 2014 version, so she does have the black base. And it seems like the 2015 ones are a little more faulty, which is interesting. And the 2015 ones have the white base. She has some foam legs. Her arms are made of plastic. The bear is just a typical uh, little plush. And her head is basically all latex, which is interesting. Like I mentioned before, it seems like the 2015 Lilies seem to struggle a little more than the 2014 ones. So the 2014 one honestly seems to hold up a little better than those, than the 2015 ones, but I've still seen her broken quite a few times, which is sad. However, if you're careful with her, I could see her lasting for a long time, if properly taken care of. Now, it's demo time. As we saw, once activated, Lunging Lily will begin to speak her one phrase while her eyes light up white and her mouth moves along to that phrase. In the middle of the phrase, she will lunge up towards your guests and begin to shiver and scream. That continues on until she's fully reset. Now all in all, I just think Lunging Lily is a very creepy prop. Her appearance is very creepy. She looks like the, one of those classic ghosts that you used to see on YouTube all the time. Just the way the blood is dripping out of her mouth and the way she's clinging onto her teddy bear, I think that is very freaky, and of course her animation can creep a lot of people out. A lot of people used to complain that people would walk away before she actually lunged up, but I actually don't think so because I think that her eyes lighting up and her mouth moving will still keep people intrigued. And she is not a family-friendly prop, just thought I'd throw that in there. Now, 2014 Lunging Lily retailed for $170, and in 2015 she retailed for $180. Now, is she worth those prices? I think 170 was really good and 180 was pretty much the line for her. She has quite a few animations and her uh, she's more advanced than a lot of the props we see today, which are actually higher priced than she is. However, she isn't that big and her quality can be a downside sometimes. So I don't I think 170 and 180 were good prices. However, I wouldn't really price her anymore now. But now you can find her for a whole lot more. 
So concluding this review, I'm going to go ahead and give Lunging Lily an 8.5 out of 10. However, for my personal rating, I'm going to go ahead and give her a 9 out of 10. She's one of my favorite... She yeah, she's one of my favorite tacky props ever made, and I think she's one of the more classic spirit props, and definitely one of my favorite props that was in the attic. So thank you all so much for watching this review. Please like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more coming soon. Bye-bye.